Well, good morning. Today is Friday, June 11th, and it's time for our weekly meeting highlights. And this is kind of a crappy week again. But anyway, it's make a goal for your future self that you will actually reach. I'm going to do my take on this one. I will start somewhat with it, but I don't know. I, I, I'm Anyway, we'll start off with how I did this week. How did I do? You told you my goal is to lose one pound a week. Last week I stayed the same. Let's see how I did this week. I'm happy with that. I really am. I wasn't really discouraged last week, which is I think why I did better this week too. Because, like I said, my goal was to lose one pound a week, and last week I didn't lose a pound. I stayed the same. When I look back at my tracker, I got the right results last week. I thought I did better, but you know, when you go back and really look, really take a look at it, that's why it's always best. I track on a phone and in a book. So uh, it helped me. It helped me this, this week especially because I realized that even though I did have too many treats, uh, a treat is something you have once in a while. A treat isn't something that you treat yourself to every day. And the previous week, even though I figured it into my points, I um, I had a treat every day and the calories even though the points so sometimes you got to watch the calories and the points but anyway but today it's make a goal with for your future self that you will actually reach ready to get laser focused about reaching one of your wellness goals goals to avoid an intention action gap that disconnect between what we want to do and what we actually do starts by getting starting to get a really truly doable I should start this over. Stumbling on my words. <sighs> we need to start by setting a truly doable objective. There we go. Um, I, it's easy to say, you know what, I, I'm just going to skip lunch every day this week. And then skip lunch every day that week. But then you're so hungry that you overeat like a bigger breakfast and then you overeat and make a bigger dinner or you might snack or something like that. So set a truly doable objective. Um, instead of saying I'm not going to have lunch every day this week, just say for lunch I might just have vegetables. I might have just a salad with a little bit of lemon juice squeezed on the top. Uh, have something to eat. Uh, make sure that you drink plenty of water. Make sure you um, make a goal that is reasonable. I was setting my goals too high this year. I really struggled this first six months because I was always anticipating a big loss every week and when I didn't get it I'd get discouraged and then my weekend would be shot so um, I have decided that um, a pound or less a week is my goal uh, if I stay the same I even consider that a win too so I think that if you um, think of it in those in those terms you're gonna do better you really will they set it up like the way they were talking about it was to like if you're setting up a meal plan the meal go to the grocery store, you know, all of that is like, we know that. We don't need to be reminded of, well, maybe we do. Maybe sometimes we do need to be reminded of it. But, um, you know, if you if you have the, the right intentions, you can achieve your goals. And if you just have beyond expectation, expectations, expectations, um, you, you're just not going to do it. You're just not. Excuse me. This Simply Light orange juice and this 8 ounce glass is only 3 points. This is like a treat to me. <laughs> it's like luxury. Because I, I love orange juice and I stopped drinking orange juice because it was so many points. I think a full 8 ounce, like a full regular uh, orange juice is like 6 points. But the Simply Light for 3 points, and I don't get paid by them. <laughs> it's just, I, I just love it. I love their Simply Light products. The lemonade is only one point. The Simply Light lemonade. The regular lemonade for eight ounces. That's a pretty good glass. Pretty big size glass for eight ounces. So, anyway, back to the program. Commercial is over. <laughs> try this. Ready to make a change or break and try something new? Break down your goal with these simple steps so your intention becomes your action. We all know that. We all have really good intentions, but we have to follow through on those intentions. And if we don't follow through on the intentions, they really do no good. So the first thing you have to do is ask yourself, what's your goal? Um, is it walking? Is it losing a pound a week? 
is it just staying the same? Is it just living a better life? Is it financial or anything like that? You have to set a goal. You have to make sure that you know exactly what it is that you're striving to achieve. Um, you can't just like, oh, you know, maybe I'll go for a walk today. You have to say, today I'm going to go for a walk. And you have to fit it in. Then they ask you, when and where will you do it? Okay, if I'm going to go for a walk, I'm thinking, do, am I going to get in my car and drive to a mall and then I can walk around the mall? And I'm, yeah, that would be nice. The nearest mall is probably about a half hour away, but then I could shop, you know. So then I have an intention that I'm going to go there, do my walking, and then maybe reward myself by buying myself a new watch band or something. <laughs> but uh, think of things like in that, in that sense. And also, anyone be with you. Um, I always find that it's easier to achieve your goals if you include someone else. This doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be on you, but it's someone you're accountable to. They don't have to call you up every day. Did you go for your walk? Did you go for your walk? But you could casually mention to them, you know, I went for a walk today and I saw so-and-so, or I went for a walk and I saw this beautiful flower arrangement, you know, like garden or something, that you're holding yourself accountable t to someone else, but they're not, like, hovering over you. Because nobody wants... You don't have to um, think that you have to do it for someone else. You have to know you have to do it for yourself. Don't say I'm going to lose weight because my husband would like me to lose 10 pounds or my wife would love me if I lost 20 pounds or, you know, my family would think more highly of me if I did this or that. No, the only one you have to impress is yourself. You really do because you're the only one that's with you all the time and knows what you're doing. Then you have to ask yourself, how many steps do you need to reach this goal? So one or If you need one or two simple steps, then think of it like, well, I really want to get on goal this week, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the store, I'm going to buy the healthy foods, and then I'm going to bring them home and prepare them so that when I need them, I just have to grab them. <clears throat> if you need three or more steps because they're a little bit more complex, just say, first of all, I'm going to find a new recipe, I'm going to look up a new recipe and see what I'm going to make. Then you got to list the ingredients that you think you're going to need for it. You know, like you're going to have to go through your pantry or your freezer or your refrigerator and see what you need. Then what you're going to do is then make your list. Then you're going to go to the store. You're going to look for the best prices, the freshest fruits and vegetables. Then you're going to come home and prepare it. Put it out. Put it on something fancy. Don't just stick it in a bowl. Put it like serve it on a serving tray or something. Put some nice little ice packs underneath it to kind of keep it fresh if you're keeping it out on the counter. So every time you walk by, you just snack a little bit on it. And then the last, then then they ask you, how do you think you'll feel when it's go time? Um, if you think you might be tired, stressed, or busy, consider what tweaks you can make to your goals for something you want, and be able to do it in the moment, or try another time or place. That's why I say it's always better to have your stuff prepared. So you're ready to grab it. If I have to go in there and say, you know, I really want a salad, but I gotta drag out the lettuce and I gotta get out the salad spinner and then I gotta get the lettuce, you know. No. But if you make a nice big bowl, I find myself, if I make a nice big salad and I put it in a colander um, with a plate underneath it for the, the moisture that drips off of it, and then I just put a piece of paper towel over the top and I put it in the fridge. Uh, it will last me a couple days, one or two days. I know uh, I've seen some people make their little individual salads and then they put them in mason jars, which I've never tried. But that's that I've seen that, and that w would work. Then when you run a salad, rather than think you got to drag everything out, you just go in there and grab it, and then you're all set. When I go to the cottage um, next month, I plan on getting some mason jars, making some salads ahead of time, because, you know, it's very tempting when you're on vacation. <clears throat> Even though we're going to be at a cottage and we're going to be par preparing our own food, so much easier to go to a restaurant for breakfast or when you're in town stop at the subway you know something like that so it's just better to have healthy options then you need to identify any barriers that might get in your way and think of how you'll respond barriers for me are when I go into the store the very first thing in the Kroger department is the fruits and vegetables and then you round the corner and it's the bakery <laughs> I have to figure out a way that I'm going to go through the thing and then backtrack out of the... I need What I need to do, really, is to go into the, the vegetable and fruit department at the very far end. 
get all my vegetables, working my way back towards the door because then you can go right into the aisles for the food and then head right to the back of the store because we all know the healthiest food options are in the outer, other than the bakery, are in the outer limits of the, of the store. Now, that's not to say that you can't get something healthy in, a in the bakery department because they do have healthy bread options. Let's face it, they do. But, <clears throat> you know, every once in a while, it doesn't hurt to get a treat, but a treat is something that you don't have every single day. And then ask yourself, why can it be so tough sometimes to make a change, but other times it's easy? I think it's just your frame of mind. Every day we have a different frame of mind. At least I do. I can wake up today all gung-ho, and then tomorrow for whatever reason. When I feel like that the next day, like when I have a really good day today, and then tomorrow, let's say I wake up and I'm thinking, you know, I, I just don't want to be on it today. I kind of think back to what I ate the day before. Did something I eat the day before trigger that thought the next day? Did I not eat enough the day before so that the next day I want to eat a lot? Or did I have too many um, sweet options and I kind of crashed and I, I needed to re, you know, replenish that sugar high or something because we all know we all get a sugar high. But if you're going to make goals, you got to be realistic about them. Um, I, like I said, at the beginning of the year, I was setting an unrealistic goal of losing more than a pound a week. That's just not going to happen with my age and my body shape and, and the fact that I've been on this for four years, four and a half years. Um, my body's kind of settling where it's at right now, so it's a little bit harder to lose weight. It's not impossible. The older I get, the harder it is to lose weight. It's not impossible. I know a lot of ladies are going through menopause. That's very difficult. I know. Your body, you could be sailing along, like losing one, two, three, four pounds a week, no problem. And then you hit menopause, and it's like Mother Nature slapped you in the face and said, slow down, you're going too fast. We're going to slow you down whether you like it or not. And uh, you run into a lot of difficulties. And your body change. Um, it's just a whole, a whole mess of things that happen. So you just have to realize that what stage of your life you're in, how you want to progress with your weight loss, and the decisions you're going to make as far as doing that. Uh, the recipe is for zucchini ribbons with herb sauce. Or as my family calls it, herb sauce. Um, it's three points on all plants. It's tomatoes, basil leaves, you lost me at cilantro leaves, parsley leaves, mint leaves, chopped chives, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, Parmesan cheese, salt, black pepper, and of course the zucchini. I know pretty soon all the zucchini breads are going to start showing up, but this would be a nice little, nice little change. I don't know that I'll ever, oh, I don't have a food food processor. I think I've asked this before, but is a food processor and a blender, can you use a blender like a food processor? I know it's not the same thing, but is there a, what do you call it, a, you know, like it'll say like pulsate and all that, an option, you know, that you can use on the uh, blender that you can use as a food processor? I really don't know. But it does look, it does look pretty good. For me, at least. Jim wouldn't eat it because it's too green. <laughs> but anyway, lost a pound, 82 pounds total. I'm really happy with that. But anyway, next week we're on to another pound. Maybe next week I won't lose a whole pound because I lost a whole pound this week. But you know what? Anything I lose next week, I'll be happy with. That's my new goal this year. It's my new mantra. And uh, I'm going to set a goal of uh, knowing that I'm going to reach my reach my goals this year. I really am. It may take me a little longer than I had hoped, but I'm going to get there. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, share if you think somebody might like to see this. Remember to believe in yourself. Always believe in yourself. And stay safe. Talk to you guys on my daily vlog, or I'll see you here next week.